Lilies, episode 13, All is Lost. And that is a very bad title. Uh, it's like, damn, like, why, why even continue the fight? And it's your boy Icon with a little DC TV going over some Superman and Lilies. So, in, the, in this particular episode, and I gotta, like, it's, 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 it's getting real. <laughs> it's getting real in Superland. So, we, we actually start off on a light note before everything turns to complete shit. And the episode starts with Lucy. We get a little backstory about how when Lucy and Allie first met and how, you know, she got into the cult. So now, you know, it takes, it takes place in like present day. Lucy is at some random cabin somewhere and she's like waiting for Allie and all of Allie's followers are slowly like walking away and like turning their back and going away. And then, you know, Lucy's just like, oh, I won't quit. You know, like I'll stay until the bitter end. And then because of that, the general, general Lane found out where she was and both her and Lois went down there to go try to make one last attempt to try to bring Lucy back into the fold. Chrissy came back. We ain't seen, like, we ain't seen Chrissy in like two, three episodes. She's back and you know, she's still mad at Lois for whatever reason. She's like, oh, you know, like you're still keeping secrets from me, Lois. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. And, and then they tell Chrissy, they're just like, hey, you know, like we know where, we know where Lucy is and we're gonna go talk to her. But then Chrissy's like, oh, I'm coming with you because she says, I'm a part of this. And I'm like, girl, you did one job. And I'm like, you are not a part of this. But she's like, oh, I saw the bizarro world. I touched the stone and I saw my other self. So they let, they let her come along, but they keep her in the car. And they just, they told her, they said, listen, if something goes wrong, then call the DOA and then, you know, they'll send some help. So now they go talk to Lucy, they confront Lucy, and then Lucy's just like, oh, get out of here. She's like, I don't want to be a family anymore. And then Lois is trying to talk her down. And then she's like, oh, you're my sister and I love you. And then she's like, well, I don't love you and blah, blah, blah. They're doing all this shit. Because of the fact that Allie hadn't returned, Lois and the dad slowly started getting through to Lucy. They started talking about like old times and then Lois apologized, you know, for how they raised her. And then, you know, she said that she was just trying because she was a kid raising a kid. And then, you know, Lucy was like, I thought you hated me. And then Lois was like, I don't hate you. I love you. And they had this whole big like warm family thing to the point where Lucy actually started coming around and they decided that they were going to give the family thing one last shot and they even extended the hand of friendship. So of course, that's when Allie shows up and ruins the whole damn thing. So Allie shows up and then when Allie shows up, she tells Lucy, she's like, I knew I'd be, I told you I'd be back for you. She's like, I've merged and you can merge too. I just need, you know, one thing. And then that's when Lois was like, well, you don't got the pendant, bitch. So she was just like, you can't merge anybody. And you know, like there's nothing that you can do about it. She was like, no, we can do it. We just need power. And then we need you to bring Superman here so we can steal his power. Because when the general and Lois first got there, the little followers that were left that were still following Lucy, they ran up on the two of them. They started picking their pockets, checking for guns, and they found the device that the general uses to call Superman. So then when Allie said, I need you to contact Superman, and Lois was just like, well, he's Superman. I don't know how to find him. You know, and this is the weirdest thing because Allie had mentioned to Lois, she was just like, oh, because because Lois was like, oh, you're a killer and a murderer. She was like, I've never murdered anybody. And then she was like, oh, you've had my, you had my son's doppelganger you know, kill, um, was the other, the other general, like the old general, she's like, my son's doppelganger killed him. And then for some reason, when Lois, when Lucy found out that Jonathan's doppelganger, you know, was the one that killed the other general, I don't know why she felt she got mad at that. And she was just like, oh, I can't trust a single thing. Cause she was just like, oh, is that true that Jonathan's doppelganger killed that man? And then she was just like, yeah. And then she's like, see, I can't trust you, Lois. And I'm like, why does that matter? <laughs> like, I'm, like, I'm confused. Like, would it, have, would it have made a difference? Like, ah, uh, that, like, the logic behind that killed me. Cause I was just like, would it, would it honestly, even if they would have said, hey, Lucy, by the way, my son's doppelganger from another bizarre world came over here and killed General Anderson. Okay. <laughs> you know, like, it wouldn't, like, that, that, that wouldn't, it wouldn't have made a difference. But she made a big deal out of it. And then she's just like, oh, I can't trust you. And then she's like, I have to do this. And then she presses the button to call Superman cause she's a hater. Now, regarding Superman, Superman ended up talking to the boys because he was just like, listen, in the last episode, Lana told us to stay away from her family. And then, you know, and then of course, Jordan didn't take it well. And then Jonathan was like, you know, we go to school with Sarah. I'm like, yeah, but Sarah ain't talking to Jonathan. The thing about that 
that's on them too because they were the ones that were like oh dad you should tell miss kutching the truth tell her your secret they could they basically pushed him to tell her the secret and now that it blew up and backfired in everybody's face and now she don't want nothing to do with y'all now all of a sudden it's like oh dad like what are we gonna do that's not fair well that was your idea <laughs> you know what i'm saying like that's what you get that's what you get for trying to be all up in the business now the girl don't want to now she don't want you talking to her daughter so then they get upset Clark's like, listen, let's just do some chores. But then Jordan, he gets mad and he goes down and actually talk to Lana. He talks to Lana. He tells Lana, he's like, listen, Miss Cushing, he was like, you know, like, I love your daughter and I would do and I would do anything to protect her. And then Lana was like, you can't save shit because she was just like, you know, like you're a kid. She said, my daughter got snatched up last season from that Asian kid that was on the football team because of your ass. And then she was just like, if you want, if you love my daughter, Jordan, stay the hell away. And then, you know, he gets upset and he gets he start crying like a bitch and he runs out. Clark, he's talking to Jonathan. And then, you know, him and Jonathan had a nice little conversation. He told him he wasn't mad at him. He was just like, as a parent, you know, he's like, it's just hard to let you guys do dumb shit, <laughs> you know, and not, not be there to protect you from it. But, you know, I got to do what I got to do. And then Jonathan told Clark that Jordan went to go talk to Lana. So then Superman goes to intercept him. He talks to Jordan. Him and Jordan have a conversation. He ends up flying him to the Fortress of Solitude to teach him how to fly in, in an effort to make him feel better. Jordan ends up doing the flying thing. The two of them bond as father and son. And then when they come back to the farm, Jonathan's all upset. He's like, oh, you guys left me here to do the chores and you went to the Fortress of Solitude. You're the one that told him he went to go talk to Lana. This whole episode is about people being mad at other people for stuff that they asked for to begin with. Like this was like, you you told him. So, you know, it's like, now nah, he mad, he get mad, he storms out. And then at that moment, you know, like the, that's when they hear the, um, the alert go off that Lucy had. And then that's when Superman was just like, he was like, stay here with your brother. I got, I'm gonna go check on the alert. So Superman flies down to the alert. And then when he goes to see the alert, he gets intercepted by Allie that starts draining his power. Right before Lucy hit the button, the general tried to snatch the, the device out of Lucy's hand, but then Allie used her like, you know, um, power, sucking powers on the general, and then she almost killed him, and then that's when Lucy was like, no, you said you wouldn't hurt people, and she's like, bitch, I want the power. So then he goes down for the count, the general's down for the count, Superman shows up, she uses her power on Superman, Chrissy saw Superman fly overhead, so then Chrissy gets out the car and she runs to go see what's going on, Superman is having his life force drained, you know, by Allie, and then Lois is like screaming in agonizing pain, and then I'm just like, yeah, that's not gonna raise a red flag of, you know, like who Superman is, because remember, Lucy still doesn't know that Clark is Superman. So then she's draining his power, draining his power, and then Chrissy ends up, you know, calling the DOA so they can send in reinforcements. Which brings us now to the black people. Because <laughs> in in the House of Irons, John Henry Irons was working on his suit, trying to re trying to rebuild it. He was also trying to work on a way to stop Allie. Now that he knows that Allie can siphon Kryptonian power, so now he's sitting there doing his thing on the machine, and then he's just like he he tells his little AI, he's like, oh, you know, run a diagnostic on the suit real quick. And and then she's like, hey, which one do you want me to run the diagnostic on? And he's like, which one, what? And then she, then the AI, the AI ends up telling him about, you know, about his daughter's suit. So he sees the suit, he, she comes in and he's like, when were you gonna tell me about the suit? And then she's just like, oh, I was gonna tell you. And he was like, I don't want you flying in this thing. And she was like, oh, but dad, you need me. She's like, I'm a valuable asset. And I'm like, yes, that's true. You are a valuable asset. You can build things, you can create things. You are very smart and you are very intelligent. But like he said, Ain't, they ain't got nothing to do with your ass flying in the sky. He said, so what, you wanna be a superhero now? And it's like, and it's hard, the, the hard thing with her is, I can't tell if Natalie is just doing it for the thrills, is she doing it because she genuinely wants to make a difference, or is it a little bit of both? Because, you know, like she's very, it's like, it's not like she's in a rush to save humanity. She, it just seems like she's just very eager to put on the suit, but then the two of them have a conversation, and then he ends up saying like, no, I'm gonna destroy this because I don't need you out there trying to get your ass killed. And then she was like, well, I almost got killed last week when you brought me into the caverns to try to get ex-Kryptonite, and I almost died wearing some jeans and a t-shirt, and I'm the one that saved your black ass, and then he got mad, he was like, I'm destroying this so he tries to destroy the suit and he can't destroy the suit because the girl done used X kryptonite to reinforce the steel and now that she reinforced the steel the suit is pretty much impenetrable at this point so now john is just like well damn 
<laughs> the AI even said, she was like, oh, the reinforcements on the suit is even better than yours. And he was like, shut up. So, you know, so then he goes and talks to his daughter and he's like, and he gave, he gave her the same parent speech that Clark gave to Jonathan. He was like, listen, he's like, as your daddy, he said, it's really hard to tell, you know, to be okay with you putting on a metal suit and going out there fighting bad guys. He was just like, you know, you're my daughter. He's like, I didn't raise you to be a crime fighter. But she was just like, yeah, but she said that, you know, this is our adopted world. Now this is our home and I don't want to lose it. And then, you know, and, and I agree. It, it like the medium for their situation is fine. I'll let you keep the suit, but you can only use it if it's absolutely 100% necessary. Like if some shit, like, like if, if the world is literally splitting in two, then you put the damn suit on. But then they got the alert, you know, that, um, Chrissy had called, you know, you know, for the DOA, the AI intercepted it. And she was like, Hey, Lois Lane is in trouble in the forest. And then he was just like, yo, I gotta go. And then she was like, we have to go. And Natalie was badass in the suit. Can't lie. You know, the suit fits her and looked better on her than it would have on Jordan. And, you know, but at that moment, Allie got what she wanted. She got the power of Superman and then she took off. So now Superman was almost dying. The general's almost dying. And the Irons is, 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 is the, <laughs> the Irons family. They pick up both of them. And they bring them back to the DOA or the DEO or whatever we're calling it. So then while they're there, they're trying to replenish Superman, bring Superman back to life. The general, he wakes up, Lucy apologizes, and then everything's back to normal. So now the Lucy, the Lucy portion of the story is over, but I don't think it's officially over because we will see Lucy's doppelganger before all this is over. But now Lucy, she's back on the side of, you know, like the Kent family and, or the Lane family. So like, we ain't gotta worry about her betraying them anymore because she done betrayed them like 50 million times. And then, when they got the report, the doctors told them what was wrong with Superman. Lois and John ended up going back to go talk to the kids. And they told the kids, they said, listen, Superman, he's alive. He's going to, he's going to make it. But the problem is they were able to draw his blood. And they were like, well, why is that a problem? Because you're not supposed to be able to draw his blood because he's freaking Superman. The power that Ali took from him, it sucked out his Kryptonian power. And now he's just a regular person. So I don't know if he's going to regain his power. I don't know if that's a, if there's a chance or if that's a possibility, but John was like, until that happens, until we find out whether or not Superman can actually come back, he said it's gonna be up to the rest of us to try to like fill in and protect the world. And that immediately sends me right back to, no, because you have a Supergirl, you have a Flash, God damn it, John Diggle's the Green Lantern, like there are other people <laughs> that can protect the world. It doesn't have to rely, it, like the burden doesn't have to fall on children, but we still out here trying to act like Supergirl and them don't exist. So anyway, <laughs> and, then, and then like after that, so like I said, so now like the whole family's on high alert and then it brings us back to Allie where she's talking to Lana Rowe and then she told Lana Rowe, she was like, yo, bring your white ass back to this earth and kill Superman because his power has been depleted and now is our chance to rid ourselves of the Man of Steel once and for all. And now she's on her way back. Meanwhile, Allie's like, you know, you go do that, kill Superman. I'm gonna be over here bringing these two worlds together. And that's how the episode ended. By the way, Lana got mad at Sarah singing in the bar that her husband cheated on her with. That turned into nothing. And then they went to a diner and had a nice meal. So he <laughs> said that was it. And thank you for tuning in. So we only have um, two episodes left. Superman and Lois is getting 15 episodes. We have two episodes left. And the show isn't coming back until June 21st. I feel like they're trying to parallel the Flash. I guess it's going to be a situation where both Superman and Lois and the Flash are going to end at the same time. Because I believe the Flash has three episodes left. So we're going to get that third episode during the break of Superman and Lois. And then the final two episodes for both shows are going to both be on at the same time. So we're definitely looking forward to that and seeing where things go. Because I've, I've, I've accidentally read some spoilers about other potential heroes popping up in the season finale. But I'm not going to look into that because I'm really trying to be surprised when it happens. So we'll see what the surprises are if there are any in the season finale as we progress on. Check me out on Twitter and or Instagram, always on YouTube. Click the notification bell so you will be notified when my videos go live because right now we just concluded Young Justice on my channel. And like I said, we're still doing The Flash until both of those shows end. And then once both of those shows end, we'll continue to do Miss Marvel until Doom Patrol shows up and something else DC related as we roll on. So thank you for tuning in, guys. So until next week, up up and raise your voice for the Man of Steel. Until next time, I'm out this. Yeah!